Okay, so 1-8, temperature and temperature conversions. Um, if we're in SI units, uh, we might be looking at temperature in degrees Celsius or Kelvin. If we're in English units, uh, we might be looking at degrees Fahrenheit or Rankin. Uh, and so a few conversions, if you take, and this is on your conversion sheet, but if you take Celsius times 1.8 and plus 32, then you've got Fahrenheit. To convert from Kelvin to Rankin, just multiply it times 1.8 to get to Rankin. Kelvin and Rankin, Kelvin and Rankin are absolute temperatures. Absolute temperatures. Uh, they start at zero, right? Meaning as as low the lowest temperature you can get is zero, absolute zero. <clears throat> so there are no negative uh, Kelvin or negative Rankin. Uh, those are absolute temperatures, and and we don't put it's not degrees Kelvin or degrees Rankin. It's just capital K Kelvin and Rankin. Uh, but here the most important, the one that we're going to use the most, <clears throat> because sometimes our equations will need absolute temperatures. Many times our equations require absolute temperatures. You know, PV equals nRT. Uh, that T needs to be absolute temperature. Uh, if you're given degrees Celsius, you need to convert it to Kelvin. <clears throat> so from Kelvin to from Celsius to Kelvin, add 273.15. Add 273.15. Uh, many times I'm just going to add 273. All right, but technically 273.15. <clears throat> To go from Fahrenheit to Rankin, add 459.67. Uh, many times I'm just going to add 460. Uh, but these right here, converting from C Celsius to Kelvin or Fahrenheit to Rankin, we're adding 273 or we're adding 460. Um, but if, if for some reason, and we, we won't really convert from um, <clears throat> SI to English or English to SI in general, if we have a problem that is English units, we're going to use English units. We're going to keep English units. We're going to stick with English units. And I'm not afraid to use Eng have English unit problems. <clears throat> if, we're, if we're in Celsius, we're going to start with Celsius, stick with Celsius. So we probably don't, don't need to convert <clears throat> from SI to English. We do need to convert from um, our degrees Celsius to absolute temperature many times. Okay, but, 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 sometimes if our equation calls for a delta T, if our equation calls for a change in temperature, uh, you know that the change in temperature in Celsius, there is no conversion to the change in temperature in Kelvin, right? Because they're, they're just offset by 273. So if Celsius rises 10 degrees, Kelvin also has risen 10 degrees. And so if our equation requires a delta T, it doesn't matter if it's absolute or, or in Celsius, we can just keep our delta their change in temperature in Celsius. Now you can always convert and you'd still get the same change. Uh, the change in degrees Fahrenheit is the change in Rankin. So it's just a shortcut that if our equation calls for a uh, temperature change um, then we could keep it in Celsius even if our equation calls for a temperature change in Kelvin.